I'll know. I saw that. Uh, hey, what's no! <laughs> hey, how's, it, how's it going? Yeah. That's, hey, what's man. up? I don't know why you deleted you that. Yeah, but that's okay. That's cool. Um, it's like you're passing notes in class. You don't want teacher to see. <laughs> hide it. Hide it. Prune it in your mouth. <laughs> Chew it up. Swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's right, Chad. You don't get to figure out what that was. Uh, all right. So we had a fun four sessions. You guys had arrived over at the uh, you've just completely cleared out the Athana dig site in the hopes to figure out what exactly is happening with some rogue machinery that has caused quite a bit of a, uh, a hostile danger to the to the work environment and to all of the miners. Uh, M-I-N-E-R, not M-I-N. Uh oh, O-R, right? That's, we know. Okay, cool. Okay. Awesome. Spell. Well, no, I, I specify because every time I say minor in chat, they're like, well, minors? And I'm like, I have to be like, yeah, I well, see what you're doing. We weren't children. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. So Why does the mention of minors turn them into apes? I. <laughs> Unga. Very that's all I'll say. Chat. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yes, um, I, I just completely forgot how to spell because <laughs> I'm terrible at spelling, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, so yeah, you guys went ahead and cleared, cleared that out. Uh, originally, uh, just kind of as a, as a brief touching point, uh, Chax and Zob, uh, the two you believed it was one of your many schemes that had come to roost and and to finally get the get the just desserts get the get the money that you guys deserve only to quickly discover that this is a greater uh much larger uh threat as you guys faced off against the haunted excavator who what which contained uh this sort of mysterious shard that was creating these this sort of biological mat matter uh that took over over the excavator the excavator itself had psychic uh, some psychic influence a little bit of psychic powers um it was a very harrowing and dangerous fight uh, but fortunately you all were able to clear it with no casualties yay you look through the entire area you didn't find uh one of the things you were looking for just for more of your 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 personal interests uh was a key card over to the storage the storage building where they're keeping all the the, the ore that they've mined out. Um, you attempted to break through, punch, everything like that, but unfortunately there was no going back and you weren't able to find a key card either. So after spending a few hours back, uh, you went ahead and, uh, oh yeah, you also went ahead and, and scrapped some parts over from the excavator. Uh, you didn't get anything... Uh, Mm, what's the best way to describe? You got valuable parts, uh, but nothing. Yeah, we got trash, man. Super exciting. I would not consider it trash. It's trash. It's trash. was not trash. You you got to level up. That was, I don't think that's trash. You know, I think it's pretty good. It has uh, the vendor it. icon on it. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, you guys got to level six, uh, and now you've traveled back over uh, to the Crossroad Meadows to finally get some rest. Was there anything else that I Skeleton. have missed? Oh yeah, and I was gonna say it, and I totally forgot. Um, you got yeah, you managed. You found a bag of holding, and then you took the giant uh, corpse of the crater Grum, uh, aka the crater Grumlin, uh, that you uh, will be raising here shortly upon your next long rest. So uh, yeah. I also got some slime in it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. You got a little bit of that that gunk in it as well. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. Well, before we get started with today's session, as I did a full recap without even thinking about it, let's go ahead and start out with some fan art today, shall we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, yo, oh, that's yo. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ash pose. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the give me the fan art. All right, give me one second. Very slow with techno. Oh, wait, did I, am I just sharing my Discord? Yeah, pretty yeah. It sure is. That's Saw deep. everything. That's, that's, a a dog, bro. that's pretty. That's pretty epic. That's really cool. You know. Uh, all right. So now we're. Yeah, we're good there. Okay. Let me go to my clipped thing, and a fart. Beginning a fart. All right. I'm sharing the screen. Let's go ahead yeah. and get started. And then also making sure chat can see. Yep. 
It's like five different things. Hi, that chat. Is working. Hi, chat. How's it Hi, going? Hi, chat. Are you comfortable? Are you Just com making sure you can see. Yeah. You got your blankets. You got your little hot cocoa. You got your Zob Kirby. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. No. You got all that? Indeed. Uh, just a little, little, little <laughs> guy. Good for her. That thing's 500 credits. I mean, just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zob has a question. Yep. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> actually, good actually, it's labeled Zob turns and waves goodbye. Uh, so. Oh, oh, goodbye. oh, yeah, that was. Uh, There's a sadness in those eyes. Yeah, it was, that was almost you abandoned me. It was almost a month ago. Bar. No, that wasn't that part. I had a big smile on my face when I almost abandoned you. Oh. You, were, you, had, you had it covered. You wanted me to die. <laughs> No, I didn't want you to die. I knew you'd be fine. That's why he's smiling about it. He just, he's just—he's just gonna get. If I wanted you to die, bit. I would have pushed you down. You would have so, yeah. <laughs> broke his back. Yeah, I would have fucking broke your leg and then watched <laughs> you crush. Uh, we got some skeleton makeup uh, for Fred. Hey, yo. Mm. Oh. Mm. My true form. Very good. Hey, does Fred have a good skeleton? Has he ever appraised himself? Hold on. This is a uh, good question. Ah, uh, never mind. Self-conscious, <laughs> huh? It's going to be a devastating check if he fails it. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to do- Maybe he's you, already checked. Are you doing the check? Are you doing the check right now? I could do the check. Oh my god. But I need a mirror. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll wait. We'll wait for the session. We'll wait for the session. That's a good question, though. Bishop can't take it. <gasps> Can we take a look at these silly fellas? Oh! Oh, oh look at them. <laughs> Blorko. <laughs> who the fuck is on that t-shirt? Who is yelling on that t-shirt? No, I know what it is. Get the fuck out Wait, of oh here. Wait, oh my god, is that fucking Garden Bam Bam? <laughs> That's fucking Bam Bam. That's fucking Garden Bam Bam. I see Mad Nap right there. <laughs> I love those guys. I love that fucking franchise. Holy I fucking heck. love it. I love it. <laughs> uh, I guess this is uh, uh, Chax uh, hacking up a hairball, which is the orb. <laughs> it's, just, it's just really bad out here, guys. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. Yo, wait, I love this one. I have yet to be able to use like any of the tongue abilities that my character mm. has because he's getting space. stuck in this freaking dome. Yeah. Some nerfs are guards right. and shit. Yeah, some nerfs are silent. Oh, I'll say. No, it's I have a way around that Zob. Next outside fight we get in. I just oh realized I can help you. <laughs> oh my fucking god. The healer at it again, always providing solutions. I've been trying to figure out how to use this spell because it's definitely going to be useful in a space campaign. Holy and now I realize. Holy shit. Mm. Whoa! That's cool. Damn! Damn. That's cool. Yeah, he killed that guy. Watching in despair as another person dies in front of him. <laughs> you couldn't save him. This just says Nikolai Squat. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, dude. Russian. Nah, it's good. It is really That's good. It's a onesie I'm wearing. It's not. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> Get up, Rocky. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Sushi asks a good question. No, oh, that's so good. Okay. Holy shit. I think everyone has a capacity except one person. But he's, like, complacent. I'm right mm. here. No, you're oh, you. We weren't, we weren't talking about you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. We weren't talking about... Yeah. Yeah, we know you're evil. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, overwhelmingly. I yeah. think she, I think I'm so misunderstood, and I hope that future campaigns will correctly you misunderstood correct yourself. Path. You said you wanted to make a good character, and then just became evil. I really naturally. did. I really did. It, it, like it was like within two conversations. Your like, character it's, was like, it's just really fucked it's up in shit. you to just be evil. <laughs> okay, but evil's like a subjective. 
term you know. Yeah. What is no, 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 no. Now you're just going to gaslight no, yourself. She's objective. It's objective. If you people. know that you can be good, you know you could be bad. We're still waiting to see what you're going to use the acid vial on. Like, yeah. that'll even determine if, everything. Yeah. Even until one of you falls asleep. Come on. <laughs> Next art. You're trying to PvP us now? That's, that's so real. I love that. Oh. That guy. Oh. Cute little frog. I like that egg. Huh? Whoa. 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 Whoa! What the Whoa. hell? Yo, let's all relax. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in the lips. Oh my god, this is a <laughs> <laughs> Just that okay. look over. Look at this. Aww. Oh wow. my god, it's like a lasso. I like it. That's, <laughs> that's good. That's so cute. Ah, what's that on the wall? Okay, ah, got it. Fucking kill it. Thing. Smack it. <laughs> wait, it. no! <laughs> Get that out of here. Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> oh my. Yo! No way. That's Holy my shit! shit. That's Damn. so good. Also, I love new, this. Also, new fan artist. Thank you. New slug. fan artist? Yeah. Huge Ooh. fan. Huge fan. Huge love fan. It. Check out this album cover. Whoa! Holy <laughs> shit, that's so good. Oh, the, that's I like love the skeleton. This. Wait, this is so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that the one that was crushed or incinerated? Uh, it, that one's dead now. Just, well, actually, he's in my like knapsack. Yeah. In your little I'm knapsack. just waiting for one of these skeletons to do something, you know? <laughs> that's all. Fuck, man. Anything. Then I'll, we'll then take I'll anything. <laughs> mid. <laughs> mid. I better not be mid. Oh my god, I can't wait. All right. <laughs> Tea is best oh. served from a mug. Oh <laughs> I bet she would buy like like those white woman decals. Like the like the home <laughs> home is where the heart is. Live laughing. What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> cool. Oh. oh, there he is, Skag again. Can't be anywhere. Oh, Always has no. to be there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, little guy. Oh, I, I have so many questions about this. Whoa! <laughs> oh, you can get it. Go get Holy it. <laughs> Capitalism. Guys, I can't make two stoner characters in a row. <laughs> oh, there's your Stop. wild magic fog right there. God, everyone Whoa. wants to use the tongue as a whip. <laughs> Oh, I can't see this. Oh, oh yeah, this one isn't loading yes. for us. Oh. Oh, oh there, there it is. is. Oh, jeez. There it oh, is. Bleh. What if it has like a tiny little fist at the end? Oh. You looking like a battle toad right now. Just an idea. <laughs> <laughs> fucking kill Whoa. him, you frog. <laughs> I can't read it. Oh, fuck. I can't read it either, but I just, I love everything. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a little just, bit pixelated. Just a, oh, there's a... Yeah. I'll have to open Quality. up the original file yeah, myself. Yeah, it's all yeah, yeah, I think it's just a network thing. Oh, gotcha. You got, well, check and see, yeah, so we'll just, uh... That's all that matters. Yeah, it's just those on Discord that can't read it. Oh, maybe, uh... Maybe yeah, we can gotta... see that one fine. Oh, weird. Okay. Just, uh, being <laughs> a little funny. That's okay. Uh... Oh my god. This someone... is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. Someone did. Is that fucking Bim? <laughs> Someone did fan art of Bim. Look at him. Too bad Wait this a is, minute. Too bad this is like the only time you're gonna see him again. Bim can yeah, he get it. Oh. Like if this is the last time we're gonna be here, I say we kill him. I say we put him on, guys. He's probably hell? gone. Different shift, bro. No. no don't say that. <laughs> God. Look at Handsome. that smile. Mm. Look at that winning smile. <laughs> okay. That crusty Ooh. lip, though. Ew. Didn't think about that. A little chapstick. Why? Aw. What? Cute. What? <laughs> what? <Blech. Blech. laughs> a pariah of evil. Oh. <laughs> She's a pariah of evil. Please listen to her. Please. Oh my leave God! Her. It's it's Bill. She doesn't have anything else. <laughs> no, there he is. He's doing DPS. <laughs> Hey, he soaked a laser, okay? Look at yeah, how he's taking. Yeah, he soaked it, but it was three other people. Oh, yeah, that's right. He got beamed. <laughs> a, a, adorable. Oh, look at this. 
Oh, oh I that's love cute. it. That's cute. Yeah, it's yeah. great. <laughs> oh, new fan artist. Plus one. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Metal Whoa. Gear Zob. <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna break punch the, the giant sword. sword. Why, am I, why am I giggling at like the top down frog? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, it is. It's just a frog. Getting on the floor, cross up. Frog. Yeah. <laughs> good. Um, I need to stop. Bill, five minutes ago. There's and a then lot of fucking lasers. Don't, don't make a bill now, please. <laughs> No! <laughs> no! I still think of him. He's still alive. So did 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 was this actually said? Was this your this? <laughs> this? I think so. I think I, that I was think last session, right? I feel I like think, it was. I, think, I think so. Yeah. Uh, but I will say it next time. Next time. <laughs> bastard! Whore. I'll, I'm gonna write that down. Okay, I write. Yeah, write that down. <laughs> That's good. She's so cute. Oh my god, Zob in his little pocket. <laughs> Wait, this yep, is so accurate! Holy yep. shit! <laughs> Dude, there, oh, was, yes. there was some big hailing moments last night. Oh night. my god. Oh yeah, it's great. I love it. This is if uh, Zob and Chax, uh, people as, as people, yeah. It's humanoids. Yeah, Chax kind of punk. Cool. Oh god, there's it, there's more. There's more. What? Wait, huh? Okay. Oh, what yeah. the fuck? What is this? It's a whole manga panel. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? God damn. Damn. He's coming at the mouth. Yep. Sorry, I'm trying to move him around. God, that's the detailing Wait, so guys, good. Wait, you guys aren't fucking getting it. This guy, like, this person isn't just, like, a manga person. They draw fucking mechs. <laughs> yeah. Like, really? I'm getting like, it. it's great. I love it. <clears throat> Very cool. Oh, we got a couple of these. <laughs> Magic orb, make my sub grow! <laughs> <laughs> it's a Power Rangers reference if you're not a millennial. Thank you very much. I'm not. I Thanks. Know I know. Thanks, dude. I, know. I actually Thanks, also dude. didn't get it. Yeah, I know you didn't get it. Yeah, it's a Power mm. Rangers 90s. My mm. childhood. I, mean, I saw like some Power Rangers. It just wasn't like the ones for like really old people. Yeah. Oh. yeah. No, I know. Yeah. <laughs> 39 buried, zero found. Now 40 buried from an accomplice named Tomato. How fucking dare you? Um. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> what does this mean? This is bullshit. <laughs> He's so mad. Holy shit. What the fuck? It means you're a monkey. <laughs> Zob does not give that kind of energy. <laughs> does he? I he know, gives that kind of energy. Yeah, that's the energy oh, yeah. I feel. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, he's he's more dumb than Suave. Wait, hold on. This is he's coping. Uh, this is called that. Uh, what, let me read it. That one bathroom moment. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Going through it. I knew, I knew Judy was gonna lose it when she saw it. I fucking love that meme. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then uh, 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 here's uh, Zob and the bomb making out. All right. Oh, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait! Go, go, go back! No, Don't go back! Go back! Don't go back! Go back! Don't, go back. Go back. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. <laughs> It's D and D time. Let's do it. Oh. Everything. I think he held on. That it. sucked. No way. <laughs> no way, man. Wait, are we actually caught up? Yeah, we caught up. That's really. Let's go. That's, that's that's how we wrap up, baby. Uh, let's see. End of fan art. Woo! And then I'm up in this. Hold on, making sure we're we're. Good. Oh yeah, we're good. Okay. For some reason, everything crashed. I think I have to reactivate this again. Okay. So now that we've done that, uh, let's go ahead and begin the session. It's gonna be a bit of a downtime session. Uh, we're gonna do uh, whatever happens when you guys arrive over to the uh, the Crossroad Meadows, and then afterwards, when you guys take your long rest, is when we're gonna get to, to a little bit of housekeeping. 
Let me go ahead and sit down. Ooh. Can't believe that last fan art uh, uh, crashed it's, my it's graphic drives. It's sticking with me. Yeah. Really. It kind of crashed me, too. Doesn't it? I just... I don't know if I want to be here anymore, you know? It's just Tell like, me about it, dude. <laughs> just think I'm... It's been a lot of hard days lately. You know? Yeah, I think, I, think it's just, I think it's time for me to retire. That's what that feels like. All right, let me see if I can get the map loaded. Okay, so it is loaded. It says, I don't own any tokens with this. Go Wait, what? Maybe I gotta move the tokens. The DM lost, guys. He doesn't have any tokens on this. Map. I think I it's lost. <laughs> I think it's I ours. I think I can do whatever we want now. I think I lost, guys. What the hell? All right, let me, uh, we're gonna do, I'm gonna do a refresh. I'm gonna do an actual. I think that last fan art crashed my foundry. You guys can't even handle one ship fan art, cross can't. campaign ship fan art, can't. huh? Can't. I would draw the nastiest Chax Felsic <laughs> art. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just thought I would share. All right. You want? You want? Okay. <laughs> I, probably, I probably won't. <laughs> I swear to God, I'll get this freaking stream banned with all this nasty <laughs> fan art. Holy. <laughs> okay. Wait, what the fuck? Chax and Felsic both have like n like neon yellow lights on them. Mm-hmm. Right, maybe it was making them collide. Maybe it's fate. Yeah. Maybe. Hey, what's going? On? What's what's going on, game? All right, now we're now we're reloading. Sorry, right, guys, for the technical snafu. Oh, no problem. I'm gonna. Yeah, man. I think 2024, I'm gonna buy myself a kitted out computer. Just go, just go fucking Whoa. crazy, you know? 128 gigabytes of RAM. I don't even need that much RAM, but I kind of want it, you know? Yeah, no, that was slots, my thought process too. Fill them. I just, I don't know how much RAM I need, so I'd rather go over than under, you know? So just, yeah, I got dude, a lot I, sometimes of I watch my PC struggle to use five gigs at a time. I don't know. <laughs> I have too much RAM in this bad boy. Mm. You actually have, it's slowing you down. It's actually killing you. You have so much yeah. RAM. Dude, you only need eight like, gigabytes for Minecraft. How much more do you need? I have 65 <laughs> gigabytes in this. Fuck. 65? You don't need it for anything yeah, but Minecraft anyway. Wait, isn't it? Wait, that doesn't you match just, out. Yeah, you got four. 232 sticks and then you just got a, a one gigabyte in there as <laughs> well. Just because. Is that a rogue I don't random know, random <laughs> stick in there that doesn't go to the Did other? Did you 65 gigabytes? <laughs> my DX You're not supposed to mix in magic. My DX Diag says I have 65 gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, I, don't know. I think one of those chips are busted, but I think you might need to take what it the into the shop. Yeah. 65. I mean, that's enough. 65. It's not. That's not supposed to say that. Oh shit! This guy's PC is fucked. It's so fucked. Dude. I didn't make it. It's your PC. It doesn't matter if you made it or not. Dude, I didn't I make think it. I'd be even. I, it'd make. It'd be better if you had made it because you not making it and it coming in as 65 gigs makes it look like you got scammed, dude. <laughs> <laughs> makes it look like something went wrong. Which Craigslist ad did you get that PC from? <laughs> All 65 right. better than 64 bigger month bigger mm, number bigger. go whoa, 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 whoa. it's true that's true that's true uh you guys have arrived after a four hour travel from the anthana dig site back over uh to the uh back over to the crossroad meadows as you approach over into the barrier area you are close or uh quickly coming upon the uh the oxygen barrier the stage is yours. You guys are free to do what you want. You have not leveled up yet because you haven't taken your long rest yet. But uh, yeah, go. Yeah, so you guys have uh, have arrived. What are y'all doing? Going up to this guard immediately. Well, right? time to go make right. a skeleton. <laughs> this guard just kind of. You just need to let me build steps it aside inside. a little bit. No, no they don't care. <laughs> oh no. Is it mm -hmm. still you? Different shift, different guard. No, it's, it's it's still me. Okay. Welcome back to the meadows. How well are you doing after, you know? A silence falls over Bim as he <laughs> looks around, stares forward and goes, Everything's fine. Been quiet. How, how are you really feeling? 
Tim's just Tim's standing there. Quiet is not good. Um. Uh. Neutral, I suppose. Hmm. That's boring. Yeah. I, I like boring. <laughs> <laughs> I like when nothing's happening. Okay, well, bye. Hey, chin, <laughs> chin up, okay. My my chin's up. My chin's up. <laughs> All right, you guys arrive back to base. Hopefully there isn't a couple of, uh, I'm really hoping there's no, a couple of like, oh, yep, yep, there it is. There's an extra, <laughs> there was an extra Fred. What the? Uh, uh, wait, huh? did you just run back to you the You deleted bus? me. <laughs> did you just run that? I think it's happened to Fred. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you ran that bush stop. There's so something wrong. fast. I thought Bro, that was a token I left behind. I'm making my, I'm making my, Fucking skeleton. I have never over heard here. Brett say bro like that. <laughs> no, I thought I didn't mean to I'm like fast as fuck. Dude, Be you like... can really get on this guy's nerves. It's incredible. No, it was <laughs> nerves. I just didn't... I was surprised. Uh yeah, he'll wave over to you. Hello. Oh, you probably cannot hear me. You're, you're talk you're trying to talk through the window. I give a thumbs up. Thumbs back up. A guy guy is still there. Shit! Well, I'm gonna go put my put my suit in my room. I think. Okay. Do we still have room, or how long was room lease? I don't know. I was gonna figure it out when I get to the door lock. All right. You see, the door is open. The hallway is clear. Which one of these did I fuck up really bad? Oh yeah, the, the, this this door seems like it's been quickly like assembled back together. Okay, so I was gonna acknowledge the quick assembly back together and then uh, oh. try to immediately kick it back down again. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean the door is itself weak, so you just you hear the shattering. Okay, my room's still open. My door locked. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna plug my suit in. <laughs> Yeah, there, no one seems to be in this this little area. Hey, could one of you charge my suit while you're out there? Shit. God damn it. Damn it. Guys? Ah. Uh, I need my suit uh, charge. I normally has one, one plug, and oh. I'm using it. Well, we did it. We figured it out last time. Nikolai. Hey, throw through a you lock. See that? What happened? Mm. Innkeeper is pacing. Oh, uh, well, well, howdy. It's uh, good to see you all again, and so soon. We Hello! <laughs> you just see him quickly, like, key in the door and looks out at you guys. Uh, how was... What, was... what was your name again, Mr. Innkeeper, sir? Uh, uh... Oh, uh, well, my name was Irvin. Irvin. Yeah, I don't think I actually gave you my name last time. I think you just said my... Oh, Betty and Stank. I would have remembered such a lovely name. It only makes sense you never gave me your name, duh. <laughs> uh, Urban's looking around a little dirty. Okay, Urban's eyeing you three up, just kind of seeing what the response is over to uh, to Sylvia. Like, is it is it just like neutral, just neutral I, expression? Yeah, chat, chat I don't, blinks I don't and smile. it makes like a. Noise. Like a like squeak. Yeah, making some uncomfortable breathing sounds and kind of <laughs> really, really awkward eye contact with Urban. Oh well, uh, well, I, I'm I'm happy to have finally uh, made your acquaintance. Uh, so yeah, how Urban. how can I help you today? You seem stressed. Oh, you know, uh, taxes. Just the usual, just taxes. Yeah. So how can I help you today? I want an insight check. Yeah, go for it. Don't have taxes. Oh. Her eyes on focus. She has no idea what's going on. <laughs> Lick, her oh. tongue licks her eyeball. <laughs> Blit. Do you laugh at the tongue licking eyeball, Sylvia? Like you see that? Oh, sorry. That was that was Lily, but also Sylvia. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little, Real. You know. Apologies. Yeah. Uh, so Irvin looks to the four of you and says, "Well, uh, how can I can I help you?" Do you oh, you know the usual: some rooms, some food, lodging, a shower. 
It, yeah, well, of course. Uh, we got a special going on. Uh, 50 credits will let you run the entire gazebo out. 50 credits? Yo. Guys, do we have 50 credits? How much yeah, we you got before? Room. Did yeah, anybody... the whole thing. Oh, wait, you have a room? How do you have yeah, a room already? Yeah, my room's still open. Oh, shit. Maybe mine's still open. <laughs> hey, I'll be right back, okay? You yeah. stay here, okay, Mr. Innkeeper? Whatever your name was. Okay, okay, hold on. Ir Ir Irvin. Ir 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 God, that hurt. I'd like to check. It's a beautiful name. It's okay. She reaches out her gross, slimy hands and pats him on the hands. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Uh, Sylvia, as you arrive over the door, you will see the uh, the signs of broken wood, as it looks like someone has recently kicked open this door. Damn. Huh? So none of the other rooms are open, right? Yeah, you, uh, the rest of the doors you try opening and they're locked. <laughs> I, want, I want to kick open the door too, but... <laughs> you're, you're, you're free to try. Yeah, go to the old college. Yeah, try. maybe you got this. Go on. Maybe you'll roll good. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, which door do you kick? This, uh, the one I stayed in. Which one was this one, right? Uh, uh one this, this one? Yeah, yeah, that one. <laughs> As the door unhinges <laughs> off the lock. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> you don't pay for rooms in this party. Why is it so loud already? He doesn't. Yeah, that, he doesn't like hear it, right? I mean, he's like real far away, right? Yeah, he's he uh, he's kind of looking over your direction. You look so stressed. You should go in and rest immediately. Stress is not good for your face. Look, I see like twenty percent more wrinkles than the last time we met. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I I I noticed those too. Um. I th this sorry. This is really relaxed. Sorry, I thought I heard something. Uh, yeah. So, were you interested in renting out the gazebo? Um, I, I have to think about it. Oh, okay. It's a little steep, don't you think? For the entire building? I don't know if you know this, but we're kind of like, I don't know, like main characters. We kind of save the world and stuff. Could you give us a save the world discount? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! I'm trying yeah, to. Yeah, that? I'm trying to do this as a person that you're like, is just trying to do business, and then someone <laughs> literally was that like, to like the local I'm the main character. <laughs> Motel like, owner. Uh, so, uh, go ahead and give a persuasion check. I'm like batting my eyelashes and stuff. Okay, Sylvia's very good looking. I rolled like a 19 on the attractions, attractiveness. Story. No, I, I understand. <laughs> we'll, we'll all take that. Whoa. There's your 19. Whoa. I want to like... Holy Can I like shit. reach over and like hold his hand, like, like you know, <laughs> gently touch his hand, bat my eyelashes, and go like, I we just you know kind of save the world, and it'd be really nice if you just gave us a little discount, please. When you reach out to, <laughs> when you reach out to grab his hand, it is covered in slime. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I I reach out, see that it's slimed, then reach back and. Try to like, you know, inconspicuously wipe it off. Oh. Try to hide that look of disgust while still trying to maintain some amount of charisma. Does that make sense? You know? Yeah, no, that, that totally makes sense. Yeah. Where it just doesn't feel weird. No, I gotcha. He, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So he's like, what the? No, I, <clears throat> my my hand's not normally that. Is it, it, your friend over here? Ch <sighs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. You should you should really wash your hand. It feels really grimy and gross. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was gonna do that. Uh, yeah. So you know, you, you guys are return customers. Um, uh, unfortunately, there was some disrepair there. Apparently, someone kicked in the door uh, after after you left. He looks over at Sob. And A people have no respect, you know. <laughs> A little people intimidated. Really have no respect for other people's property. I cannot believe someone would do that to you. That's horrible. <laughs> So, Apologies. Yeah, if I saw someone trying to kick one of your doors down, I'd, I'd kill him for you, I swear. We would kill them, right, guys? I'd kill him. We would kill them. Wait, wait. Oh. You said uh, gazebo oh. is damaged, yes? It, it, yeah, well, that's that's what I was saying, so maybe... It, it, Multiple doors? Uh, no, just 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 one. Well, no, I actually no, just checked just now. we wouldn't be renting the whole pristine gazebo, wouldn't we? Yeah, well, that's what I was about to uh, about to say. But you, you guys are returning customers. I'd hate to put you at that spot. So maybe we could do uh, a discount. Um, I 
you, did you say you were a main character? You have right. not one, but two broken doors. I just checked. <laughs> He's looking the back. The criminal is still somewhere in the area. Oh, that's uh, that is, that is tragic. Uh, well, I suppose we 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 could we could do uh, thir 30, 30 credits for the whole whole thing. Thirty good. Mm. You think that's good? Should we check if there's any more broken doors in there before we pay? Can I kick another door or something? Yeah, or? let me see if there's more broken okay, doors. What did you say? <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm gonna see if that person who's breaking all the doors is still around. No, that's that that's uh. That's fine. Uh, we can do it together. Oh, dear. Only 10. No. 30. <laughs> you just hear like, all right, now I definitely heard something. I got him. But what? He ain't coming back. What are you? Oh, he was there. 30 is yeah, great. Yeah, him away. 30 is great. Let's pay the 30. Oh, well, that that's awful kind of you. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, so uh, I can take your credits now. Who will be paying the 30 credits? Excellent. Who will be paying the 30 credits? Uh, no, this is Brett the DM asking who's there. paying the 30 credits. <laughs> How much money do I have? Where's, where do I see money again? Uh, if you go over to your inventory and scroll down over to credits, uh, if you click in there, it'll tell you how many you have. Right now, you have 175 uh, oh, I credits. Click it. Yeah, I'll yeah. Pay. Oh, I could just. Oh, you know what I could do? I could just put that in the quantity so you could read it easily. Yeah, oh, okay, that, that yeah. That's... I saw zero and I was like, did what? Did Jack stick all my money? No. Uh, yes, there we go. <laughs> uh, you'll pay the 30, you're down to 145 credits. Okay. Oh, well, 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 thank you kindly. What is your name, sir? You are probably the nicest gentleman I've met uh, in a while. I am Nikolai. Oh, well, nice to meet you, Nikolai. I, um, he offers the other hand that's not covered in slime. Uh, why are we at back door? Why front does not open? Oh, well, uh, renovations, you see, and, uh, yeah. Oh, what is you renovating? Uh, you know, just my, just the, the store, it just needs a lot of renovating. In the window. Yeah. It, it looks like the lights just, like, the lights are on, like, the curtains were, like, quickly tried to close, but you can see through, it looks normal. Hmm. I'm, I'm excited to see new, new look. Yeah, me too. Well, thank you so much for the credits. Uh, oh, let me go ahead and hand you the... All the keys, I guess, even the ones with the busted door. We get the door. whole thing. Well, yeah, it was a fifty-credit deal, but uh, from the disc repair, and of course, since you're a re re return customer, looks over at Sylvia, gives a nice nod. Uh, it's uh, gonna be thirty credits. Are we gonna die? But, well, no. I mean, eventually we all. Is there die, a gas leak? You know? there's, Not really? No, no, there's no gas leak or anything like that. I, Sounding I, like a setup. I can, I can, I'll do, I'll, I'll get an inspector in to make sure there wasn't uh, a gas leak, okay? Apparently other one does have gas leak. Someone has to wear a mask just to live there, which is bummer. That, oh, oh, wait, no, that was skin condition. Yeah, Sorry, that, no that, gas leak. No, they are a, a, a repeat customer that they uh, facilitate uh, chemicals uh, from within there because of a skin condition they have. So they rent that gazebo out for a for a long period of time, and I appreciate they their come business. Often. Uh, uh, often enough that we can keep the lights on. Hmm. Well, they're 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 a they're a good individual. If you ever see them walking around outside, which is very rarely, uh, don't be uh, alarmed by his appearance. He's a uh, a good individual. Right. Good. Oh yeah, he's great. He sold me acid. <laughs> very very <laughs> Oh, yeah, he did. He gave us acid that could literally burn your face off. Oh, well, I, I knew he was a alchemist of some kind. I, uh, uh, I have a vial in my bag. Do you, do you want to see it? No, I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a Butterfingers, you know? <laughs> he holds okay. up a slimy hand. <laughs> he goes, so, uh, yeah, I just, uh, no, I'm good. Okay. I just want you to know I have a vial, though. Uh, well, okay, well, that is appreciated. I'm gonna get back to the renovations. If you need anything, uh, let me know now. You have any books on skeletons? Yeah, I'm sure I could see if there is some, yeah. I need to find out how to make an electric skeleton so I don't have to charge this thing. It, oh, you mean, oh, right. Well, if you uh, figure that out, he, like he's unlocking the door, opens it. Well, where's you, the book? Figure that out. Well, I mean, I don't know if I have the book, but I'm I'm gonna. He closed the door. He oh. locks it. I'm gonna look for it. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna look for it. All right. If I help. found it, I'll put it. No, nope, no, nope, need no help. Thank you so much. Have a good one. 
Oh, I feel so bad for him. He seems like he's going through a lot. I would gladly take help for renovation yeah. stuff. Is the good. renovations are not going well in there. They haven't even started. Can I have my key? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he handed you all the keys. Someone's yeah, mismanaging nice. the renovations really bad. <laughs> he's oh, no, two doors broken. <laughs> he's looking at the book. He's he's kind of noticing that Zob's looking at him. So he's kind of looking at Zob from like the side of his, his eye without actually looking at like, he's trying to look at Zob without Zob realizing he's looking at Zob. Yeah, stop just looking. <laughs> just staring. Just, just the warm, got else to do. He's, he's just like, he's the not gonna warm go light that. of the indoors is just beaming on Zob's face as he's just <laughs> deadpan staring. Yeah, he's at just Zob. deadpan staring at this guy through the window. <laughs> oh my god! Fan artist, please. Thank you very much. I would love that. <laughs> okay, so uh, he's gotta walk over here a little bit, kind of. Opens the door, just, okay, kind of, bye. just kind of stays in that corner for a little bit. <laughs> just climbs into the nearest storage closet and just hides in it. <laughs> Why are all the doors locked? Okay. I, uh, it will unlock oh, sorry, me. sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, now they're unlocked. They're unlocked. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, you will see uh, two broken down doors <laughs> shattered just everywhere within here. Well, I'm putting my thing on the charger, and then yeah, I'm going to the bush. Yeah, it's, it's, it's safely it's safe to assume that's what you're all doing. Oh, you're still sleeping in the bush. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I want to drag this bed up to my room to make a sort of longer bed, because this is kind of tiny. But first, uh, I'm taking a bath. Yeah! Oh. Going over to the, the big old bathtub. Yep. Yep, it's like a water tower. My bones. Okay, that's... Uh, make sure they're pristine. Yeah, yeah, no, that makes sense. Uh, you doing a, is is it time to see the the check? That's it, only if someone else tells him. <sighs> Damn, I've never questioned this. Okay, yeah, huh. he thinks he's perfect. All right, I I respect that. Um, checks, you seem to be wondering about what do you what 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 are you doing? Yeah, she's she's slinking around. Uh, she's gonna cast message actually. Oh. Uh, Sylvia. Come to lobby. Uh, it, it, can I respond or is it just one-way message? Um... I think they can respond. I think you can respond. Yeah, you can reply in a whisper. Hi, you reached a voicemail of Sylvia. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she, sla she slams the tip of her tail and like a fist shaped down on the table. Fuck! <laughs> uh, I'm just fucking with you. I'm on my little... Okay. <laughs> fucking Sylvia, what the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Where was it again? It's just like at the bottom. Oh, There's like shit. food there. Ah, poop. Did you walk outside? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you didn't even tell her where to go. Yeah, you did just say, meet me over here. Jax, what is up? Little snuggle, little hug. Don't touch. Ah, ah, that, that, that. Okay. You so Stop. So you uh, can transform, yes, disguise. Yes, right? I can. Sorry, my my fire alarm is going off. I think someone is off. <gasps> I think someone's cooking. I knew they were fucking selling Wait, us this place what? too cheap. Something's <laughs> wrong. <laughs> I'm so my sorry. My bees. <laughs> Wait, like. <laughs> <laughs> like, could you we can like, barely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, can go you figure your shit out. I don't get burned <laughs> yeah, to take, death. Yeah, yeah, take yeah, care of that. Take care second, of that. Okay? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we're, all, we're all gonna take a break. We'll see you guys in a, in a minute. All right, and we are back. Now one piece is overrated. Ah, Sorry. You shut your mouth! <laughs> the one piece is real! <laughs> Aren't they Can making it much higher? Are they making oh a seek? I don't know anything about character. it. Any, anyways, Bummer. yeah. Uh, let, so, uh, Lily's back and Lily's fine. Did not die, so we can continue playing D&D today. Woo! So, uh, yeah. Last we left off, um, Chax had sent a message to Lily. Um, yeah, and I'm over here. I'm trying to hug her. Yes. Because I think she's so cute. 
<laughs> she's yeah, she's like she's like gooey and she's like she's like the, the little fairies. Yeah. <laughs> she's like trying to scramble back. She's like trying to push you off like how a dog will like put its paws up against your chest like a little dog. You'd be like ah ah it's like a little gecko fairy, you know? Stop! Stop! I liked you as a balloon, because it was like we're flying. Anyway, what did you want? <laughs> um, okay, she, she like brushes herself off. She clears her throat. <clears throat> um, back in... Back in mind, you said, what if disguise yourself as girlfriend? Yes! Are you in? You liked my idea? She pulls out uh, the sketchbook that she was working on. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. On the sketchbook is uh, an image uh, that Chax drew herself. Um, it <laughs> It is... <laughs> Uh, how do I put this? It is like baby's first, like, how to draw manga art. It's like how to draw manga book. Yeah. It looks like, it looks like that <laughs> art style. You uh, guys. it is like, it is like an anime girl with like, with like black <laughs> hair and like a skirt. And she has like stink lines coming off of her. <laughs> can you, oh. can you disguise yourself as person you have not seen? Um, this like... is, this is girlfriend, Kumiko-chan. Kumiko-chan! <laughs> oh you trying to make a cosplay your OC? She's mm. trying to make me cosplay your OC. Kumi <laughs> Kumiko-chan. Kumiko-chan? What? Oh, you I... don't, you don't watch? Not familiar with Kiss Love Kumiko-chan? No? Not fan? I can't say I've heard of it, but oh, Chex's drawing is so adorable. I, I want to like look at it as if it's like a mom looking at her daughter's first drawing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like I want to pin it on my refrigerator. My eyes are that pleading emoji. It's on um, favorite series. Uh, yeah. Miko-chan resonates with me. How does she resonate with you? Well, um, Kiss Love Miko-chan is about secret idol. But she uh, stays at home and doesn't shower and only eats takeout. She is like me in that way. Oh, Chax, you must have had a hard childhood. What? No. <laughs> and that's okay. I accept you for who you are. And I would be honored to disguise myself as Kumiko-chan. I, ju I just want to see Kumiko-chan realized. As person. Is this part of the plan, or is this your personal goal? Uh, a she, bit of both? She, she blushes. Not part of plan. We deviate. <laughs> Briefly, um, we experiment. Mr. DM, can I disguise myself as someone I've never met? Let's go ahead and read the spell together, because I was All like... Right. <laughs> but at the same time, do we really want this to be a quest arc? So let's find out. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> Disguise self. You make yourself, including your clothing, armor, weapons, and others belong belongs on your person look different until the spell ends or until you use an action to dismiss it. You can seem one foot shorter, taller, thin, fat, or in between. You can't change your body type, so you must adopt a form that has the same basic arrangement of limbs. Otherwise, the extent of the illusion is up to you. The changes wrought by this spell fail to hold up to physical inspection. For example, if you use the spell to add a hat to your outfit, objects pass through, blah, 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 blah. If you use the spell, then blah, 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 blah. Uh, yes. So uh, in short, yes, you can. You can't. That is epic poggers. Epic poggers like when Fred isn't there. Um. Oh. Yeah, let's try it. All right. So. Oh dear. Okay. How do I... All right. So this is. <laughs> I, I think this is how we're gonna have to do it. So I need Junie to explain what <laughs> yeah. the art looks like, and then. Okay. Really, I need Hold you on. to explain what you look like after that, and that's how we're gonna do this. Okay, it's like um, Chax, Chax like, she like maybe wants to be an artist, but she just doesn't quite. She like like she's she's learning maybe 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 a little late in life. Uh, but but she she's picking it up. It looks like a like a middle schooler's drawing of like an anime character like the eyes are like way too big and like way too like there's way too many sparkles um and and 
you know, it's just... You know, it's just like, oh, that's cute. You know? Can't say anything good about it, but oh, that's cute. <laughs> you tried. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's the description you're giving for how the, how it looks like. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, then uh, Lily, what do you look like then? Um. Okay. Yeah. Describe your appearance. Are you gonna visualize the stink lines? This is. Hmm. I'm envisioning a super anime character. So, um, Sylvia is a little narcissistic. So I'm gonna kind. I'm gonna keep my face actually. Okay. But. I'm gonna mm -hmm. change my hair to well, she said black hair, right? Mm -mm. Yeah, like a like a like long black hair, giant badonkadonks, a short <laughs> skirt. <laughs> Wait, what? what, what? Yeah. Like, no, no, keep going. Yeah, yeah. No, go on, go on. Kind of no. like a go magical on, girl sort of outfit. Oh, thigh high. Hold on, hold on. And like, mm. okay, I did a. I did a mouse sketch of what I did. Oh, you did a mouse sketch? It's been like five seconds. <laughs> oh, Where do I put gosh. this? Oh, it's yeah, yeah, put it again. Yeah, yeah, put it that. If you want me to show chat, I can show chat. Oh my god. <laughs> I kind of like that, you know what I mean? Wait, this is so cute. Yeah, let me, let me see this. Uh, where'd you put, oh, you put it in general. Okay, that's fine. Uh, can I show this to chat? Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> wow. John, maybe the badonkadonks are a little bigger. <laughs> Yeah, I don't see the badonka donk. Right, I know, then. I, I should have made it bigger, but it was a mouse sketch. <laughs> Alright, there okay. it is. And then I transform and I do a little peace sign and go, ay yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No? Mm. You don't Wait. like it? Wait, I'm thinking. No, Sylvia, it's a good transformation. Yeah. You did good. Not I'm geeking thinking. out. Thinking, yeah. I made the badonka donks too big, didn't I? I, I? I know I went a little too far with that. No, 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 no. It's, it's you did, you did good, Sylvia. It's just something, something's off, something's missing. Hmm. She's thinking. Um, she curls up her tail into like a fist and like puts her chin on it, and she's thinking. Oh. Maybe, maybe, maybe it would be easier if we had a human reference, like. A real person we make look like Kumiko-chan. Uh, so you want someone like else? Like someone who fits the profile. Wait, I don't fit the profile? Well, yeah. No, it's just... Sylvia, you are more of prep type. Uh, I could... I could fit the profile. I'd like to use a, another spell slot. To yeah, go absolutely. On. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hold oh. on. Okay. Let me right. finish my mouse sketch really fast. <laughs> this is incredible. Oh my god. <laughs> Godspeed. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so... Live artist reaction. Yeah. Oh, there is... There's some extra... Okay, what if I... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Can I go and show that? Yes, I... yes, yes. Okay, here we go. That's way more matching. <laughs> like, is this what you? I can't really see out of these bangs. But is this what you thought of, or? Oof. Hmm. I think, Sylvia, it might be your personality. My pers I know I have a charming personality. I could tone you down have... the charm if you want. Oh, you have charming personality. What you lack is gap moe. But what is Gamoe? <laughs> what is that? Oh, you are too normie. <laughs> no, what me? we what we must seek, Sylvia, is someone who fits the parameters. This and if we can get that me normie, tracks <laughs> <laughs> self insert. No. <laughs> <laughs> if we get them. She's just an otaku, okay? <laughs> In cosplay, then maybe we can create the perfect Kumiko-chan. The fuck is she talking about? Yeah, she no, I like totally she agree. Her hand. She raises her hand, offering a handshake. 
Of course! What, whatever you want, Chags! Uh, I shake her head. Good. She takes her hand away and it leaves a trail of goo. She literally has zero taste. I looked fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! But, you know, outwardly, she's smiling, and, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. going, Wow, I spent my spell slots on this. Wow, that's crazy. You, <laughs> that's crazy. You did your best. Oh, oh, one more thing. Do not tell anyone that I'm a fan of Kiss Love Kumiko-chan. You, you wait, the what's worst that? Person. You don't want anyone to know that you're a huge fan of Kiss Love Kumiko-chan? Did I hear that right? Correct. Oh, okay, so it would pain you if Our... other people knew that you Correct. were a fan of Kiss our Love Kumiko-chan. Of course! Yes. It's totally our secret! Of course, of course! I'm gonna use that as blackmail later, that is so lame! <laughs> <laughs> no, I... her, her face, her face like, softens, her pupils, like, dilate a little bit. She looks almost cute for a second. I knew I could trust you, Sylvia. Of course you could trust me! We are a kindred spirit. Kindred spirit, you know? G girls stick to girls get it done. Girl power. <laughs> <laughs> I have to leave. <laughs> yeah, I'm oh. Good good night, good um <clears throat> good night, Sylvia. Good night. She goes to bed. She smiles. She smiles as she goes to bed. I look <laughs> so fucking gross. Ugh. <laughs> I changed back. Yeah. That was weird. Chax was smiling when he walked by. <laughs> Wait, are you like your head like out of the <laughs> door? I was just sitting here with the door open. <laughs> Sylvia, do you do anything when you hear that? While you're, while you're passing by. Passing oh, what by did I hear? Zob? Zob, <laughs> while you're passing yeah. by, Zob's head's like in the door. It's like, that's weird. Chax was smiling <laughs> when you pass, she passed by. Um, nah, I'm just going to give him a friendly wave and go to my room and change back and... Yeah, Zob just kind of watches you go by too, and just like stares at you. All right. Is everyone taking a long rest? Yeah, but first I'm God, casting Unseen real. Servant to, you know, wash my back. Oh, of course. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> um, Fred is such you a queen, you honestly. Are, you, are, you are thoroughly washed by the Unseen Servant. Now it's going to help me make my skeleton. Hell yes. So that's going to be during your long rest. So you'll let me know when you're starting that. And a pedicure. <laughs> okay. Okay. Damn. Oh, I really <laughs> think we're <laughs> getting the most out of this freaking one hour unseen servant. This dude. is, uh, yeah, this you is going to put him to work. This is a good unseen servant. All right. So now that you all are in a rested or long rest position, uh, first of all, uh, great <laughs> role play, uh, Judy and Lily. That was, uh, one of the more unique uh, things that I've seen <laughs> running D&D. So uh, hats <laughs> off to you two. You're um, welcome. <clears throat> so let's... Uh, uh, actually, we're going to start with Shane. So uh, during your long rest, the first thing we're going to go over is level up. So uh, congratulations, Nikolai. You are now level six. Uh, I do have to ask the question, uh, which class do you put your level into? Um, am I able to say the one that was lower without saying what it is? Because I don't think chat knows yet, and I want to keep it a you little... You still want to say... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want, you want the, the lowest subclass leveled up. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and oh, take this. Uh, well, that, that, if that's the case, uh, you get, uh, a thing, and you get a, th a thing. I'm so excited and, to use that thing. I'm and, stoked. And that thing is, uh, ooh, that that's thing a good, is good. That's a good thing. I'm, uh, I'm yeah. gonna be real with you. That's a real good thing. Wow. Okay. Cool. Yes, that's a very good thing. Yeah, next okay. fight, you'll see it. Don't worry. Okay. And then your hit points, then, is going to be gained eight hit points, um, What's your constitution? Uh, three. Plus three. All right, so you've got uh, 66 hit points. Cool. Uh, it should be, I also have tough. Oh, so that's right, you do, more. you do. So that's an additional 12 hit points, right? Yeah. All right. So you have 78 hit points. Cool, lovely. 
Let me set that up. Let me also do that. Wonderful. Well, I guess that's all I have for your level up because you're being a little, little sneaky guy. <laughs> sneaky. Uh, also sneaky. Also sneaky. Also oh, sneaky. you're also you're also gonna be sneaky. No, no, I just like the word sneaky and wanted to repeat it. I'm sorry. No, it's all good. Uh, Zob, you are now level six. Yep. Uh, what did you gain at level six without I being just checking? I get scarier. Those? There's no oh. me there's no more reason to go into detail. I just get scarier. <laughs> oh, so you also are being a little uh a little No, I'm not guy. lying. I get scarier. Okay, no, I am not saying you're lying. I'm just okay, yeah. You yeah, that is that is the long and short of it. Okay. That's uh wonderful. Good. Uh you'll gain another eight hit points, which means you're at eight. Is there con nine? Nine times six. You're at fifty four hit points. That's pretty good. Con is nine. My con is uh, oh, thirteen. No, oh, sorry. Okay. I uh, con eight, is nine. Eight oh, plus okay. one is nine. That's why I said it. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then yeah, I'll look through all this that goes there, and then we'll uh, yeah, we'll update your your token later. Uh, Sylvia. Hi. Level six. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you will gain. Uh, Max hit points there. Uh, you gain the feature counter charm. Yeah. And you, you now have nine known spells. So uh, you get more spells? Yeah, you get to learn another spell. Do you know which spell you'd like to learn? Oh, um. Would you like to think about it? Yeah. Would you like to come back uh, next next week with it? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. So do I learn up to like what no. level? Uh, so you learn, you're still learning up to third level, but now you learn a ninth spell. So originally you had eight spells known, now you have nine spells known. Aye aye. Yes. When I think about it, I will let you know. Oh, I gotta prepare one more spell, that's right. Thank you. I gotta choose. Oh, I didn't say anything. <laughs> oh, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> they're, they're both spellcasters. Um. So at sixth level, you gain the ability to use music notes or words of power to disrupt mind influenced effects. As an action, you can start a performance that lasts until the end of your next turn. During that time, you and any friendly creatures in 30 feet uh, have advantage on saving throws against being frightened or charmed. A creature must be able to hear you to gain this uh, benefit. The performance ends early if you are incapacitated or silenced or if you are voluntary or if you voluntarily end it. So that's what you get. Little counter charm. Uh, you're also, let me see what your con is. Okay, so you're gonna have the same amount of hit points. Yep. As Zob, you have 54 hit points. Five, four. Boop. All right. <sighs> I was thinking about something funny uh, that could happen when Chax levels up. Oh. What? Uh, so because you are a <laughs> mm -hmm. because you are a wild magic, you have sorcerer. a chance to lose a level. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, Shut oh, up, Shade. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> That'd be fucking crazy. <laughs> um, because you are a wild magic uh, uh -huh. sorcerer, and since we see the wild magic table rolled so uh -huh. few and far between, yeah. I will give you the option that during your long rest, if you want, a wild mm -hmm. magic effect goes off. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do okay, want, actually. Okay, but that only happens <laughs> during the level up long rests. Yeah. So you, you get that. So that. If you really just want to be a little little guy, you know? Yeah, I, I mean? want to be a little guy. Uh, should I do it now or should I wait until after I level up? Okay, hold, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm like, I'm like biting at like, I know the bit you right are, now. I know you are. I'm frothing. You're like, please. Uh, okay. Close this door. Yeah. Gampa, Gampa. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, so we. Oh, so after your level up, uh, the wild magic will go off. So first, okay. uh, let's go ahead and get you leveled up. You are level six. Yes. Um, we gain this many hit points. You now learn a new spell. Do you know what new, new spell you're learning? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, okay. It's not something I, I don't typically like announcing what spells I'm taking. Okay. Totally mm -hmm. fine. But uh, I do and, have a new ability. Yes, you gain the feature Bend Luck. Yes. At sixth level, you have the ability to twist fate using your wild magic. When another creature you can see makes an attack roll, an ability check, or saving throw, you, you can use your reaction and spend two sorcery points to roll 1d4 and apply the number rolled as a bonus or penalty to the creature's roll. 
You can do so after the creature rolls, but before any effects of the roll occur. Mm, so very yum. cool. So uh, let me level everyone else up, and then we're gonna go back to. Actually, I think that's. Oh no, the only one left is going to be Fred. Yo. No. Yo, what up? Uh, Fred, you are now level six. Let me go ahead and roll that six. And that's it. Congratulations. You are, you did it. Ooh, no, actually, I think you get something. You gotta get something, I think right? I get another third spell slot. Let me, let me fucking check. And I get my... You get to learn two new spells automatically. I get, yeah. I think it was, uh... An arcane tradition? Yeah, that's, that's why I'm, I'm checking checking right but yeah, now. Yeah, level six should be... Yeah, un oh, that's right. Yeah. You get undead thralls. At sixth level, you add the animate dead spell to your spell book, if it's not all there already. When you cast animate dead, you can target one additional corpse or pile of bones, creating another zombie or skeleton. When I get two now. Whenever you gain an undead... Oh, oh, this is not to. Uh, whenever you create uh. an undead using a necromancy spell, it, it has additional benefits. The creature's hit point maximum is increased by an amount equal to your wizard's level, and the creature adds your proficiency bonus to its weapon damage rolls. Uh, no, animate dead lets you create, uh, yeah, choose a pile of corpse from a medium or small range spell imbues with the foul mimicry. Or a skeleton there. And then on each of your turn, you can use a bonus section eventually. Yeah, see, so you do have two. Sorry about that. Yay! Or actually, yeah, you get, two, or actually, you get two additional, so you have three now. Yay! <laughs> yes, you are becoming the Diablo Necromancer. Congratulations. Just what I wanted. Uh, it's what we all want. Um, okay. So now that we've done all that and we've pretty much went over those, uh, the next thing is going to go off will be the wild magic effect. So, uh, Chax, if you would be so, well, actually, wait one second. Huh. One, one moment, one moment. I know, I mean, me too. Uh, bup, bup, bup. Go ahead and give me a 1d100 roll. 53. Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, you sleep peacefully for the rest of the night. Yay. Oh. Me, 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 me. I'm fucking trusted as far as I can go. <laughs> And, so that's, I get to... and that's the effect. Uh, yeah, so, so next up, uh, um, <laughs> you're, uh, yeah, next up is going to be Fred. Uh, would you like to spend the 200 credits to create the large undead? But how many can I make? Of the large undead? Well, if so if you, if so the, the second level spell is like your 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 undead minion. That's your undead servant. That's a completely separate thing from undead thralls. So mm -hmm. the raising of this giant that you have um, is the yep. undead servant part of it. As far as your undead thralls go, you're gonna need to gather a couple more corpses. I still got Bill. You do have Bill, and you can reanimate Bill uh, as an undead uh, as the undead thrall, one of your undead thralls, if you would like. So I can make. But Bill three. is. But Bill's oh. just going to be a normie ass skeleton at that point. Yes. Yeah, so I can make one Giga and yes. two little ones. Yes. Okay. I'll just but, make the Giga one now. Yeah. Um. But you would need to for the second for two the the two regular ones. Um, you need more corpses. You need another corpse. That's correct. But Do I also get to yes. learn two new spells. I forget yeah. how like scaling levels. Yep. You, you just you just learn you just learn two new spells um, from the spells that you can cast. Currently, you can cast up to third level. Okay. So if there's two more spells you'd like to learn, you're free to do that as well. And you can get back to me with that. Me. Yeah, you can get get back to me with that um, before next week, so you can really have a a good thought. Are there That's people right. who know multi class casters very well? Do the prepared spells are they completely split for both multi classes? Oh, there you go. Would anyone know? Because this is uh, I don't know how many spells I. Am I don't know. To prepare. Tee -hee. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't yeah. know either. Tee -hee. Spell spell casting is fun. Your capacity for spell casting depends partly on your combined levels of all spell casting classes. Spells are prepared. Um. Oh yeah. You you follow a different table. Mm -hmm. As a multi class spell caster. Yeah. 
So currently, yes. so currently you can cast. Yeah, I know they share spell slots. It's just the prepared part. Yes. I think I. I think that means I get a lot then. Because... Yes. Uh. So. Um. For example, you know, three. Uh. Th uh. Three first level ranger spells based on your levels in ranger. A third level, you know, three. Uh. Wizard cantrips and just yeah. So it's it's two combined. Yes. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you, you determine what spells you know and can prepare for each class individually. So your ranger, That's not ranger, I'm right. sorry. Your one spell caster slot goes into one way and your other spell set, uh, your other spell caster slot goes the other way. And just for those people that are like, Brett spoiled it, he's a ranger. Uh, no, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm I, yeah, literally, I sure am. I'm reading off of the multi-class, which go, uses ranger and really, wizard as Really an mess them up. Yeah, exactly. But... If you'd like to think I spoiled it, that would yeah, be I'm hilarious. Yeah, I'm actually a ranger wizard. Yeah, yeah he's, a, he's a ranger wizard. You, you <laughs> figured it out, Shaft. <laughs> you're, you're really good. <laughs> um, so, yes. Uh, as for the skeleton, I'll make, we'll be making a token for it next week. Yay. But your skeleton... Uh, let me go ahead and load up this journal entry. Cause you, are, you are making the skeleton from... A big boy. Yes, the Crater Grum. The skeleton stats for the Crater Grum uh, is considered a large size skeleton. Uh, with, and because of that, um, ske your undead minions already get more hit points uh, because they're your undead hit point. They get double that amount. So they actually, this big He's boy. Bigger. Yeah, this big boy's got <laughs> double the hit points. Um, he also gets a, or it also gets a plus two to its strength score, but because of how massive it is now, it gets a minus two to its dexterity score. So that'll be adjusted. Uh, it has the property large damage. This skeleton can use large weapons, which deal an additional damage dice. Large weapons cost- And also deal my proficiency. Yes. Uh, large weapons cost twice as much as regular weapons. So you're, you're you, so if you would like to get like a large club or things like or things like that, you, it deals an additional damage die. So it's so instead of one d, let's say one d eight, it's now two d eight. But only large characters can wield those weapons properly, and this is a large skeleton. So if you purchase that little add-on for your skeleton, you can do that. Um, however, because of all this, the skeleton is costly to make, which means to 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 do this process instead of spending. 100 credits, you must spend 200 credits. So I must ask you. I look. use the two Noxious gemstones. Oh, right. You hold up the gemstones and offer it as a uh, as a sacrifice to build a your- A small penance. <laughs> your massive chat of a skeleton. Uh, let me just uh, real quick. And you shall be named Ben. Ben. <laughs> so it's, you heard it here first. Uh, uh, it's going to be uh, Ben. Burn. I want to calculate the skeleton's hit points for you, and then the token's going to be built um, by next week. So let me go do the cal. So it is four times your wizard level, which is six, so 24, plus two times your wizard level, so 12, so it's 36. We double it. The skeleton has 72 hit points. Nice. Oh, yes. Um, and has a 14 strength and 12 dex instead of a 12 strength, 14 dex. And yeah, it can deal, uh, can deal some beefy, uh, beefy damage. So, yeah. All right. Uh, I believe that wraps up the skeleton and the, f and Fred's business. Is that correct? I think so. Okay. So, um, next thing I want to get into, um, specifically is crafting. You guys have been kind of gathering, uh, materials. Uh, you were able to extract a bunch of salvage from the haunted excavator. And so now I kind of want to tell you what you can do with that. So, uh, the core thing of crafting is this. There are no checks required with crafting. As long as you are proficient with the corresponding tool that can make the item by spending a long rest, you can build the item. Sometimes I may require multiple long rests if the item itself is especially powerful or more expensive, but if you have the materials, you can build the item. And that's that. Uh, just to keep it nice and simplified and, and, and good to go. 
Uh, the second thing about crafting is you have to know the recipe. You have to be proficient in the tool that builds the item. And then you need to have the, um, essentially the money, the credits to build the item. So for example, if you're building an item that is worth 400 credits, you need 400 credits on you and you need to be near like a store or something like that where you can buy materials to assemble the weapon. The reason why the one of the ways we look at this is this could be something that you've been like tinkering with the entire time in the background. So that way we don't have to worry about being like, well, you need all these days and spend all this time building items. The games that we run, we just kind of want to build the thing and get back to it. So that that's the way that's being explained. Items, every item has a list of potential ingredients. What that means is if you find those materials out in the world and use it as a component to build the item, the market value of the component is doubled uh, when it comes to the material value. So it let's say just right off the bat, you got an item that's worth 400 credits. You need 400 credits. Or um, you could use, um, it'll say potential ingredient uncommon metals. You ha happen to have 200 credits worth of uncommon metals. If you use those 200 credits of uncommon metals towards the item cost, it's doubled, which means it fulfills the requirement to build the item. You don't, you don't need to spend 400 credits. You can just use the 200 credits of the, the ingredients that are there. This also makes it so that you don't have to do a, a hunt, essentially, to find like material components. You can either just use your credits or you can use like a subsection of materials that allows you to build into the item. Um, and then there's some benefit to that, because if you build everything out of the potential ingredients and then sell the item to someone else, you can make a profit. You can actually you'll make double the credits, essentially, um, to to do that, to sell these magic items. It's kind of how everyone does that. So with that being said, um, you guys have been finding materials ar around the world. Uh, you have, as I mentioned before, you salvage some materials from uh, the haunted excavator and, uh, and yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Cause I think as far as materials go, you only got the haunted excavator. So let me go ahead and, and show this to you all. Oop. Uh, I would like to show this to everyone, including the player view. There we go. Uh, so as you guys, uh, clear enemies and defeat enemies, um, and after you have left the aim, the area, the, like the danger area where the enemies are and you take a long rest, I will be adding entries to your journal about these enemies. This includes, oh, it's like closed for me. Weird. Um, this includes not only their stat block, um, but the parts that you can get from them as well as I'm going to, if you closed it, I'm sorry. I'm just going to do this again, just so I can see it on this side. Um, It'll include a list of parts that you're able to essentially extract from them. And you saw how that worked with the dismantling system. You just did a check. We rolled down some tables and you got all these uh, all these items for that. Um, it goes into details like what value all of these items are, what classification the item is. I don't know why it keeps closing. Uh, and uh, it also goes into. Yeah, I'm just going to do this so that I stop doing that to you guys. Um, it also goes into a list of recipes that you can build from these parts. So at the Haunted Excavator, um, you can build some mundane armor. So you can build a breastplate, half plate, or plate from the materials you've extracted. Um, you can build a consumable haunting protocol that allows you to create a haunting excavator or a haunted mm -hmm. excavator uh, if you'd like to try and get more parts, if you're trying to like build something, if that's what you'd like to do. It'll be easier than the one that you initially fought, so it's a good way to like hone your skills or try something that you may have fought before. Um, it allows you... Um, you can also build plus one weapons uh, using haunted excavator parts. And then there's some unique items. Uh, the haunted excavator, you can build an excavator fist, which counts as a flail, uh, but you can actually use it um, as an unarmed weapon. So these can be literally fists Ooh. for Zob, if you'd like to use that. Um, and when you use those, when you use an item like that, you also get the properties of those items with your unarmed strikes. So the excavator fists can be used as a flail or it can be used as a set of like metal gauntlets that also counts as a plus one weapon and also gives you a, a, a knock prone 
ability uh, essentially built into it uh you can build the unstable laser cannon the haunted excavator was was shooting at you guys um this is a fun little gamba item uh first of all it has aided aim which means you do not need to be proficient in this item to use it you get the proficiency bonus even if you don't have martial weapon proficiency it has uh, essentially a, a guiding ability to shoot it's a plus one weapon that's infinite ammo which means you don't have to worry about finding ammo or recharging ammo um it deals radiant damage instead of piercing damage this is a heavy crossbow that's essentially a giant laser cannon um and then finally it has an unstabling firing core what this means is if you roll a 20 on the d20 when you're making an attack you can actually make a, an additional attack to a different target um with the same roll so this is a critical hit if you get a 20, that means you can choose a second target and also hit them with the same critical hit. So mm. it, you can essentially split it off. However, if you roll a one on the D20 when making attacks with this weapon, uh, the weapon will instead target and attack a friendly creature within range of the GM's choice, which means you oh. shoot that laser oh, at a party fun. member. <laughs> and I, I get like to it. choose who you shoot it at. So, uh, so yeah absolutely um and uh next up is the uh bracers of psychic potency um this is a this is a fun magic item you wear them on your wrists you get resistance to psychic damage but also whenever you would deal psychic damage you get to add an additional die damage dice to the damage roll so if, if something deals 1d8 psychic damage it now deals 2d8 psychic damage um oh. The Crown of Silence, um, while you're wearing this, uh, you are resistant to psychic damage and you gain advantage on any saving throws versus being charmed. And then uh, the Periapt of Intelligence. While wearing and attuned to this item, your intelligence score is a 19. So these are all the items that you can build. Yum. I'm saying it out loud for the, for the benefit of chat because you have all of these entries within your journal. So you're free to look at this as you'd like. So if there's an item that you would like to craft during a long rest, um, currently, uh, as far as haunted excavator parts go, um, as a friendly reminder, you have uh, three grafted scraps. Um, each of those are worth 100 credits which means you have 300 oh. credits worth of haunted excavator parts, which means if you would like to, um, you can build an item that is worth a market value of 600 credits. And I think the only thing that's off limits currently is the unstable laser cannon and the excavator fist, but you can also use your credits um, to fill in the rest of the market value so that you can still build the item. Um, also, you'll notice that uh, the grafted scraps also count as uncommon metals, which means yep. if you find other recipes that require uncommon metals, you can use the grafted scraps as a potential ingredient. So, uh, with that being said, um, the last thing I want to do is give you guys something. Let me give you a little, <gasps> give you a little, little something. A, a treat. A treat. Oh, yeah. Yay. Uh -huh. So, um, because um, crafting has such a big part of this, I didn't really want you all to choose um, a tool proficiency in place of your skills. If you, because I, I know people prefer using like skills and stuff like that. So, uh, each of you, if you would like, and if it fits within your character, um, I will give a single uh, tool proficiency to one oh. of the crafting tools. So you will gain proficiency. You'll automatically have the ability to do that. You don't have to worry about like trying to train or go into a separate quest and do that. You just each of you know how to craft one thing and the crafting tools. Essentially, the only requirements they have, it, it goes, hey, is this an I like, for example, for Smith's tools? Is this an item that is built from metal? Well, you can use Smith's tools to build this item. Um, if, you know, is this an item that requires like food items, then you can use cook's utensils. And um, I've also shrunk down the crafting items list. So you don't have to worry about, or you don't have to worry about like 12 or 15 tools that D&D &D has. Mm. These are the only tools that counts for crafting. And I keep giving shit, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> you can build stuff. Sometimes items will have a material requirement of bones. 
So, <laughs> because of that, Surefor automatically has the ability to craft items that use bones as a potential ingredient. Sick. And that, is not, and that is not in addition to the list of items, <laughs> the list of tools here. So, um, technically, Surefor can um, build two things. So, let me copy and paste this into the chat. So I don't need to take Woodcarver's tools. You do You do not, no. Yeah, Woodcarver's tools allows you to, to use bone as well wood. for crafting and wood. Yeah. But I already know how to use bone. That is correct. So you don't have you don't have to take that if you don't bone want to. Bone is just better wood, you know? Bone is, I oh should yeah. just take jeweler's tools and then bling out my skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> you could do that. <laughs> oh, because you could also give your items to your skeletons. So yeah. Um, yeah, so you have uh, Ignore Fred. He's 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 talking a lot. He, he's really passionate about the subject. Oh. Um, so um, <laughs> I posted the list in chat. Um, here, here are the list of items. Uh, alchemist supplies, alchemy. Cooks utensils, cooking. Uh, jeweler's tool, uh, jewel crafting. Smith's tools, uh, blacksmith. A uh, weaver's tools, tailor. And uh, woodcarver's tools, uh, woodcarver. And those are those are it. So, uh, again, you if you do not want to learn a tool proficiency, you do not have to. But I will um, allow you to learn one now. Let's go ahead and start with Juniper. Uh, I'll be taking Alchemist tools. Epic. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you can you can go ahead and add that to your okay uh, character sheet. Uh, tool proficiency, alchemist supplies. Wait, Boom. are you adding that? Or yeah, I'm adding, adding it. That? Okay, cool. I was gonna be lazy, and then I was like, no, I gotta, I gotta do the work. Yeah, I would have to figure out how to do it. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Uh, Lily, are there a set of tools that you would, uh, crafting tools that you would like to learn? They're dead. Oh, oh my God, no. is Lily dead? The cooking fire. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Burned down. No, you're good. Uh, um, come back to me, come back to me. Okay, okay. Yeah, go ahead and think about it. Uh, Fred, you already know how to craft with bones, but is there anything else that you'd like to learn? Jeweler's tools. I'm blinging them motherfuckers out. <laughs> Jeweler's tools it is. <laughs> uh, Zob. I'm cooking, man. Right. <laughs> oh, like Cook. actually cooking. Okay, yeah. You You're understand. cooking. Oh, cooking, okay. <laughs> cooking. All wait, right. wait, wait. Cooks Let utensils, understood. Cook. Chain. I was also cooks utensils. So, Sorry, uh, man. Would you uh, like you to? You guys can cook together. I guess. Because that's, that's it, I, it's actually on my character. I mean, if you're locked that in, likes, then I'll do then I'll just yeah. take Smith's tools. I, I didn't that. have the proficiency, but it was on when I made my character. He loves to cook and bake. Okay. Aww. I'll take Smith's tools. <laughs> Okay. So now I just have the proficiency to match the RP. All right, Smith's tools it is. And of course, you uh, if you all ever want to uh, learn more, um, credits go a long way. And t it, all it takes is time and a little bit of teaching and you too can learn an additional tool Money. proficiency. Money. Um, but uh, yeah, with that, it, is there any questions about the crafting system? Hopefully it was- Wait, we have to go back to Lily though. Oh, that's right. So true. Take weaver's tools. Nope. I'm gonna make clothes. Okie dokie. And you so... can make clothes for my skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro, I don't think you're just gonna make clothes for your skeletons. <laughs> I also thought of my third level of spell. Oh, what are you uh, learning? Enemies abound. Enemies okay. abound. Right? That's a third level. Good spell. God damn. Such a scary sounding spell. Enemy. Yep, there it is. All right. I've added it to your character sheet. Poggers. I know the third level spell I'm taking. Yeah, what's the third level spell are you taking? It's a classic. I don't know if you'll be able to guess. I I would rather not guess. Yeah, here we fucking go. Listen spell magic. No, uh, counter spell. Oh, oh. yeah. That's a, <laughs> oh. Oh, that's a fun one. Sorry, DM. 
No, that's okay. I built stuff DM for that. DM loses the spell. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, but stuff. then there's the counter spell, counter spell. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, no, I mean, I've, I've actually built like, fun, Dude, fun I've had a for three, that. like a three level, like counter spell chain happen before. It's yeah. bad. Counter spell's dumb. That's all I'm gonna say. It's it's, <laughs> it's 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 dumb in the sense that it's a very like, it felt like a very lazy put together spell. I could untake it. No, 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 no. You, it, it's take it like you're it's totally cool i'm it's more of like a design philosophy yeah i was just spell. venting yeah wait but if i dude. if i don't take counter spell then you're more likely not to do things that require as much counter spelling mm. but if i take counter spell you're gonna do more things that you're fucked either it's way like, it's just like do an arms race dude yeah. the more yeah. we escalate the more he's going to have to escalate <laughs> to keep up I'm so sweating if you over take the counter spell he's gonna be throwing shit you have to counter spell left and right um so you you learn counterspell and uh did was the crafting pretty much understood like you guys like learn recipes yeah. you just build yeah. using credits and then there's certain items that have a higher market value or a market value bonus rather if you use them as materials mm. oh and then i'll take scorching ray as a second level spell that's that those are classics i mean you're basic as shit right now but yeah that's cool okay <laughs> yeah, I'm a basic bitch. I cast skeletons and I do a little bit of shit. <laughs> do a little scorching ray. Hey man, I, I haven't been able to use crown of madness, hold person, or blindness slash deafness because everything is a construct. Bro, you use crown of madness. madness. Your first mistake was taking crown of madness. <laughs> dude, what's wrong with crown dude, of madness? Dude took You'll crown of madness. Oh. I, listen, I didn't out. think there was anything wrong with crown You'll of madness until you I took crown, crown of madness. Too? It's when you, it's when you I have, do. I have multiple characters. I have disguised crown self as well. I got disguised self. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You guys will. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, oh, what's wrong shit. with Crown? I hope you, I, no, no, no. I'm saying good work. luck. I hope you have better luck than me. <laughs> oh, you just roll like shit, is what you're no, saying. No, no. No, it's no, not no, a no. You don't get it. Not a roll? No, no. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. I'm not going to. <laughs> what's what's happening with here? Crown of Madness. It's very you'll, initiative you'll dependent. See. Yeah, it's very initiative dependent. Thing. Well, then I just have to metagame and only use it when it's beneficial to my initiative there you go <laughs> already working on it so um yes as far as monster entries go um just real quick uh when you acquire monsters you learn just as a, a quick uh, breakdown you learn their stat block you learn what parts that you can potentially gather from them whether they have a, a treasure table a carved table or both um you learn recipes based on that item. Like there's a huge, there's a whole list for the crater grems that you fought, and along with the crater grum, there's a huge list, uh, complete of that, and how you can actually gather more of their goods if you ever want to look for that. And uh, yeah, you got all the recipes. Um, so I'm not expecting you to build stuff now, unless there is something that you do, you are interested in building. Um, this I want to make the club, but I don't have enough. The, I mean, uh, I'm not gonna lie, those fists are. Wild. Oh, you're yeah, looking at the punching like ones from there. <laughs> yeah. I, I like the Gamba beam. <laughs> <laughs> you. Yeah, the, the, those fists and the Gamba beam are definitely some of the more expensive items. Fortunately, these are all materials you're going to be finding throughout your adventure anyway. So if there's not something you could build hey. now, definitely yep. something uh, to build to, yep. towards uh. later. Okay. So, sounds like there are some items that you may be going for in the future. That is awesome. That means we've created some stuff that you guys are interested in. Finally, to wrap things up for today, because um, this is this is the end of the session at this point, and that is with what's next. Um, what direction are you guys going to go? Obviously, you still have to return to Car no. Yeah, you're going to return to Cario, um, and then you're going to get paid uh, by, by Bianthana. Um, you're going to go ahead and, and, and get paid, get get all the money, get all that handled. Obviously, that's going to be a whole thing. But then after that, um, here are some paths uh, that you guys can choose or even something that's completely out there. If you, there's something you'd like to pitch uh, now. So you got this. Uh, one of the things is you got this mystery shard. It's has some sort of value, but it kind of creates biological material. It makes the robots act really weird and kind of crazed and something not right with it mm. out so um finding more about this shard could potentially lead to some fanciful opportunities if you're curious to learn more about this this I'm mysterious this mysterious gemstone right mm-hmm that, that is something you can do oh i'm a sage sage sorry no it's it's all good researcher it's all good 
Well, there'll, there'll be paths that you'll be able to explore once you return to Cario, if that is a direction that you'd want to go into as like your next direction. Um, as far as side pursuits go though, um, Cario does have a fight club. So if you want to start doing some gladiatorial or arena oh, fights yes. for some extra credits, oh. uh, that is an option that you could do. Uh, the fight club does have um, a 1v1 option, but it also has a 5v5 option. So you have some um, solo duos, you know, we can do 2v2s as well. Um, and it's all about potentially making money and moving up the, uh, the gladiatorial chain. So that's an option that you can do. Um, there were two dungeons that I had brought up to you guys, uh, that you are free to explore as well. Uh, the Havel Caverns, um, which was uh, established by the IAG as known Ganymedian ruins from underneath the area. However, a mysterious Cyclopean creature has made its presence known in the ruins below, causing the IAG to flee. They are interested in capable adventurers to take out this troublesome creature, and they are willing to pay 2,000 credits to the party to do it. Holy! So there is that option. But then there is also the limited uh, time option, and that is the Krillcore Forest. That's right, forest on this barren planet of Ganymede. So the Krill Core uh, Forest is a rare sight to behold on Ganymede, as it is one of the few living forests on the planet's surface. While living forests would normally be more self-explanatory, Ganymedeans living forests are considered uh, conscious biological creatures that flourish in areas. Um, and immediately- Biological pe creatures have bones. And immediately die off after a short period of time. Quite often, strange and dangerous creatures with pseudopod appendages that grow from their shoulders roam these areas. And in the forest has been known to be to create stra these strange gem-like stones that seem to bleed from some of the trees. This is a rare occurrence to witness. So, um, just as the description state, the Krillcore Forest is sort of a... It, it's been spotted, um, but has the potential to also go away if left alone for too long. So if this is an option that you'd like to explore, um, also let me know that. So is it, with the- Is there a casino? Uh, yes, there are casinos. If you'd like to do some gamba. Uh, gamba. Some gamba. There's a, there is a, uh, there's a car, uh, uh, there's a, uh, like a card shack and like an actual casino. So there's one that you're gonna need some connections to because it's definitely illegally operated. And then there's the other that is, that is more moderated. So. Connection would be me, but I don't think I'd want to go in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, come my, uh, on. It'd be fun. <laughs> um, I can just disguise you. But with those options uh, stated, um, and this is something that you guys can, if you guys would talk about now, I'd appreciate it because then I can actually, you know, get this made for you all. Uh, what are you all thinking? I'm, you, would you like, I'm gonna go down the list and kind of see what you're you're vibing with, and I'll start with uh, I'll start with Judy if that's all right Yay, with you. Me first. Uh, me, Judy, as a person, um, I fucking love alien fauna and flora. I want to go to the forest. Okay. Lily. Ah. Uh, <laughs> back to me. <laughs> yeah. What are you thinking? I mean, like. I say come back to come me. Back oh, to come me. back to me. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah. I, I apologize. Uh, <laughs> Put you on the spot. No, I know. I got so scared. <laughs> I'm, now, I'm very indecisive. Now? Okay, <laughs> super indecisive. It's all good. I'll also uh, um, let me also copy and paste this with the with the options that you guys can do. So I'm gonna say this. Hopefully, not have Fred say it this time. There mm -hmm. you go. You can just, so that's pretty much everything I just said. Okay. If you would like to reread that. Uh, huh? Uh, Shane, what are you vibing with? Um, there was one time sensitive one only, right? All the others correct. are just, you know, out there. Yeah, that's correct. <sighs> Probably that one. The forest? Yeah. Okay. I saw like animals. Nikolai loves animals. Sure, He's got proficiency in animal handling. When do we, can, when, when do we create our own city? <laughs> Yeah, can we make our own like? Yes. It's good to have some. I want to build goals, a spaceship and, and go into space. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying killing to create me. a skeleton a settlement. Why are you killing me like this? Uh, so, <laughs> in short, yes, there is base building. You just haven't found it yet. Also, probably very expensive. 
Um, okay, so we need money. Not exactly. So the way we, we, we're handling base building is once you are given a base, it is effectively counts as a character sheet. So it's a, oh. it, it is a base that levels up with you. And when you level up, you kind of choose what to do with the base. The, we make I the remember base. We built a, I figure out how to make electric skeletons. We never have to pay for suit charging again. That sounds wonderful and also a long-term goal. How are you feeling about the immediate future? Money. <laughs> so you're open to whatever. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. I'll go with the no, gambling is the biggest and money. You could win a million percent of your money back. You can only lose a hundred percent. It's math. I'm basic math. I'm, we are gambling next session and then going in the forest whenever I win big or lose all my money. <laughs> just so oh, you, just so you're aware nice. the the way the gambling works in in this one, just for from, from a system standpoint, um, it's a bunch of table rolls and a, a bunch of checks. So house wins fifty one percent of the time. Which checks? Uh, deception, typically, if you're playing a game like um, like poker, uh, or right. if you are trying to just be slots. Yeah, yeah. If you, oh, yeah, that's just flat luck. So uh, yeah, slots, slots, slots. Yep. Um, excuse me. And that's yeah, that's a thing that you can do pretty quickly. But yeah, you're saying you're gonna keep open, so it sounds good. Um, tomato. Yeah, I mean, I'm down to do the uh, forest. I mean, Zabul in character, basically, do whatever Chax wants to do. Uh, if I go back to the city, though, Zob is going to become the champ. Uh, I don't care. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, kill. Everyone I'm gonna be your ring way. coach. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take him down. Yo. So don't let me go back to that place unless you all want to watch me do 51 v ones in a row. <laughs> Keep me away from the city. Oh my! You have to go to the city to get paid. You got 2,000 credits waiting. Find for a it. reason I have to wait outside. <laughs> God, I just can just say wait outside and then you understood, going. understood. Um, Lily, you could also say um, all of the above. Not mm, mm, forest. Okay, so I, it sounds like you all want to do the forest. It's a lot of forest, forest is yeah. cute. Mine yeah, there better be fairies. a dragon in the forest, and then I can make a skeleton dragon. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll take that <laughs> note down for you, sure. For no, uh, no, hold on. How about no? <laughs> I want a dragon, and I want it to have a skeleton, and then, and then I, I want, want my own city, and, and I, I want, want the skeleton dragon to sit at the top, money. and then everyone's gonna be scared. <laughs> oh my god! All right. Well, that <laughs> wraps up today's downtime session. Thank you guys so much oh. for playing. Uh, so more than likely, we should have a session next week. Does that sound good with everyone? Yeah. 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 Now that I know what you all are, are, are doing next, that sounds good. Also, um, you'll find out all of this. I just want to know what direction you guys are going so we can create the narrative that way. It's not going to be like, surprise, Forrest appeared. Now you're there. It's going to, you know, it'll, it'll weave into the storytelling that we're going to do. So... You will be heading back to Cario, and you'll have to figure out a way to keep Sob away, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Um, but uh, I will see you guys next time, okay? Can you DM me the uh, the, has the arcane tradition? Yeah. Thing? Well, that, all, all you have to do is look at uh, Wizard uh, Necromancy School. I thought we did a custom one. The only custom thing we've added is the undead minion at level two. Okay. So, yeah. Um, chilling then. All right. Well, guys, I'll see you all next week, okay? See you next time. Right. Thank you. See you next week. Thank you, Thank guys. You. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.